If you use the Wayback Machine and go way, way back on Evernote's website, you'll find this slogan. Every note ever written at any time in any place. This is a pretty cool slogan, right? But in a way, it is kind of uh, a longer version of remember everything. Because every note is about remembering, right? And this is why I had to record this video that I was not planning to record today. I can't stop reading this comment that Canon left uh, uh, on one of my recent videos. It's all about memory, all about remembering, and I had to share it with you. The comments I've been getting on my AI-powered search videos are mixed. Some people tell me that it doesn't work at all, it, nothing works. Other people tell me that they are mesmerized like I am. Uh, but the first thing we have to have in mind here is that the AI-powered search is in beta. And every time you search for something, you see uh, thumbs up and thumbs down below that answer. If you click, you'll be able to send more feedback to Evernote, uh, answer, uh, answer some questions. Please do that. All this data is being used to make the AI-powered search better. Another important detail here is that Evernote is not going to the internet to answer us. It's looking for the answers in our notes. So if we don't have enough content about that, it's not going to work. It, it, there's nothing to, <laughs> to search to give the answer. Uh, one person that I remember, just one, told me that it would prefer Renault to go out and, and on the internet and look for the answer. I don't think that is a good idea because we all know that AI sometimes goes crazy. And how can we rely, how can we trust an answer from the internet if we don't know what the sources were to, 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 to give that answer. If we have the AI looking in our nodes, we know that those nodes are curated content, the content that we deliberately brought inside every node. So I think that's the, the key here. This is Amazing, this is different because I know that every time AI gives me an answer, it can be wrong because I, 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 I could have curated wrong content, but at least I know that the answer is from what I've been reading, what I've been studying, what I've been collecting. So I think this is, uh, people didn't, some people didn't get this, how big this is. As for the filtering notes, to be honest, I rarely use it because I got so used to filtering, manually filtering. I know that all those options so well that I, I, I frequently forget about the AI search. Uh, I'll do my best to, to remember that and try that more, but I'm also, I'll be also talking to some other experts and, and bringing them here uh, to the channel to talk about this filter. I know some of them are using the filter all the time. Um, but the times I, I search, the times I try it, it worked. But again, if it doesn't, please use the feedback, send feedback. It's important. I've been giving feedback to Evernote for a long time, even before it was released to the public. And I can tell you that it is improving every single day. So please use the feedback form, use a thumbs up, use a thumbs down, and fill the form when it, it's not working for you. It will help all of us. Okay, let's talk about Kenan's comment. One day I was talking to a friend and the subject of a party that we went together came up and I told him, no, you're confusing things there. I didn't go to that party. And, uh, and he said, yes, you did. And then he got some pictures and I was there. <laughs> I definitely went to the party. But even though I saw the pictures, I was, no, I didn't go to the party. And I was much younger than I am now. So this was not a, 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 an age thing. Uh, 
But then he started talking about it, and I remember it. Memory is not black and white. It's not that simple. And by the way, there is a great book called The Memory Illusion. You'll find the link in the description below. It's an affiliate link. If you use that link to buy the book, you'll be helping the channel. Anyway, I went to the party, and then I started to remember it. He was talking about it, showing me pictures. Oh, yeah, now I remember, and I still remember that. <laughs> I'm telling this story because Kenan asked, what did I decide to do with the piano? It's a simple question. He told me that Evernote went through all the notes, the tasks, and all the information, and answered him, you decided to sell the piano. Wow, this is so simple, but yet it, it's amazing. It's mind-blowing because it's kind of a brain assistant. I don't know how to call this, but it's something I always wanted from Evernote because we have all this content there. And if I forgot about a party that I went to, of course, I forget about many of the notes and many of the decisions uh, I took in my life. So the fact that we now have this friend that will show you pictures and help you remember, it's mind-blowing. So the lesson here is if you're not getting the answers from Evernote, maybe you don't have enough content to get the answer in the first place. So start adding more content, more information, more context, and Evernote will help you. And if you don't get those answers, please use the feedback, it will help all of us. Well, this was the first video after the changes I did and showed you on yesterday's video. I hope you liked it. This is the first time I record using that different angle. If this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.